All right, Jason's up. Jason says, working with a local contractor who has another host, his site is built on ClickFunnels and he has no native RSS feed. Without tipping the other host to a potential takeover of the site, the client doesn't want to ask the current host to add an RSS function. I get it. So I have some spare syndication networks in mgyb.co and I'm looking to use one for his property and thinking of using wordpress.com web 2.0 as the syndication point or trigger point. Any real issues with that before I press submit? Uh, no, that's fine, Jason. Absolutely. You, anything with an RSS feed you can use to trigger. In fact, it doesn't even have to have an RSS feed. For example, you could connect WordPress as the trigger source instead of, so if this click WordPress, then post to, you know, Blogger, Tumblr, or, uh, Twitter, you know, whatever the case may be. So you can have WordPress actually connect via API as opposed to RSS. Like in other words, IFTTT can connect to WordPress API and then it will trigger whenever you publish to wordpress.com. Does that make sense? Or you can do it via RSS. In fact, you may want to test those. I remember years ago when I was developing the whole syndication network strategy, um, I tested that and there was some funky stuff that would happen when you would use the native app as the trigger point as opposed to the RSS feed from the app. In other words, if I was to use WordPress as trigger or Blogger as trigger or a Tumblr as trigger, trigger as opposed to using the RSS feeds, sometimes it would cause some funky stuff to happen. So that was years ago. I have, I know, because RSS just always worked. So that's why I just finally said, I quit testing that shit and said, the RSS works, let's just use that. Um, don't broke, don't fix it if it ain't broke, right? So my point is, you may want to test that. Um, but also, Jason, think about this. We're doing that, and I'm pretty sure that you have Rank Feeder, Jason. So you may want to think about just taking their ClickFunnels page creating a rank feeder feed, which is what we're going to be talking about on Monday, guys, with Lisa Allen, um, and then use other authority content feeds to create that co-citation, uh, you know, and feed your network that way, right? I mean, you could do that because especially if you have a sticky item in that feed, um, you know, you could be using that to constantly, um, you know, co-citation whatever your sticky item is. In this case, maybe the ClickFunnels page, right? So, I mean, I'm, that's just a thought. You might want to think about using that too. But yes, you can use WordPress or Tumblr or Blogger or anything with an RSS feed. I like to use the, any type of blog account, obviously, because, um, you know, you got more uh, like WYSIWYG editors and you can edit the elements of the page and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Plus, there's probably RSS feed creators online other than uh, Rank Feeder that will allow you to create feeds from HTML pages and that kind of stuff. I know there used to be services like that, so I can't imagine that they don't have those still. 